Today's video will be some kind of strange, you may think, but in 2020 I am switching from the iPhone 11 Pro to the iPhone 8 Plus and I'll give you my reasons why. First of all, that's the price. Here in my country, when people can't afford to buy a $1200 plus dollar smartphone, we buy it subsidized through carrier, usually on a two or even three year contract. My carrier operator has a different approach. It gives you the opportunity to rent a brand new phone at minimum of nine months and after that you can return it back. That is good if you want to experience a new model each year, but the monthly cost is higher than usual and the money you give away, you never get it back and also you never own your own personal smartphone. That happened in my case right now, because it's already the start of the month 10 and I can give them back my iPhone 11 Pro smartphone. So I try to understand what do I want from my smartphone, what do I use most of the time. That is all the popular apps that run mostly on 99.9% of all the smartphones. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, web browser, email apps and most of the popular productivity apps. And if I downgrade, what will be the most important things it should have? First of all, it needs to have a good battery. Of course, the iPhone 11 Pro has the best battery on any iPhone ever. But here I talk about downgrading and previously only the big screen iPhones had a significantly better battery performance. Next thing, it has to have a bigger screen because my typing on a smaller screen iPhones has been terrible. I mistype all the time, though the smaller phone fits much comfortably in my hands. Typing is what I would love to do much more than making voice calls on my smartphone. It has to have more than 64 GB of internal storage. Though I use 50 GB of iCloud storage and 64 GB should be okay for me, now that I had 256GB on my iPhone 11 Pro, the used storage was about 58GB, so 128GB storage would be the perfect option for me. I compared all of the iPhones on the market and I never really was able to accept iPhone XR or the basic iPhone 11. Though the hardware was really good and the battery life was great, and actually I am one of those users who loves Face ID better than Touch ID. iPhone 8 Plus was the one and only downgrade that was able to provide all my requirements. It has a bigger screen, high resolution 1080p Full HD Retina display, so it looks even sharper than 10R and Basic 11. It has a very good battery capacity and I managed to get a newer 128GB model. The OLED display iPhones like 10 and 10s have beautiful screens, but they all have poor battery life. On the other side, I really love those stainless steel OLED display phones. Yes, my iPhone 11 Pro too. Basic iPhone 8 and the newest iPhone SE, both are too small for me and both have very bad battery lives as I ask my friends who own them right now. I found this iPhone 8 Plus model brand new for a very low price. Apple doesn't even sell these anymore, but a couple of stores had them in stock, so I reacted quickly. I could buy three of those iPhone 8 Plus models for the price of iPhone 11 Pro. As an Apple fanboy, it's going to be hard for me to see the new iPhone models to come out each and every year. But this is more of what can you afford today and what functions does it need to have for you to not suffer on the performance. Actually, the A11 Bionic chip that is inside of this iPhone 8 Plus is very powerful even today. But what power do I need in everyday usage? I do not tend to render any 4K or even 1080p videos on my phone, nor I even will play any high demanding graphical games on it. 
Of course, that's easy to say today. In my life, I switched iPhone models like once in six months, sometimes even more often. Time will tell, but right now, let's unbox the Space Gray iPhone 8 Plus 128GB model. So, here we can see, this is my 256GB iPhone 11 Pro model. So, it's not actually mine, as I said, I need to give it back to my carrier. And this is the good old iPhone 8 Plus, and it has the 128GB of storage. Yes, I had the, these iPhone 8 Plus models two times. I upgraded to the newer ones and sold my 64 gigabyte models. So now I'm returning back to this iPhone 8 Plus once again, the third time. Quality, the materials, the glass back, and it has the wireless charging, and it has the fast charging too. I had this fast charging adapter from Apple, so I'll be good to go for the quick charging. Quick charging, charges the battery from 0 to 50% in only 30 minutes and that's what I need. The iPhone 7 and 7 Plus models didn't have that. The first uh, models that that use the fast charging and the wireless charging are these newer 8 and 8 Plus models with the glass pack. So let's unbox it. see the usual stuff you know you know it go to the sim tray injector to the apple stickers everything you usually get when opening iPhones let's put this aside Here we have it. This is the European model, so it has the European wall adapter. But as I mentioned, I have this fast charger, so I will charge it much quicker. These are the headphones. Oh, you can see they do not put this uh, lightning to headphone jack anymore. The older iPhone 8 Plus models had them here but this is a newer one and they do not put it inside anymore. So <laughs> that's interesting. And the cable, lighting to USB. So let's put that aside. And this is the shiny, beautiful, old school iPhone 8 Plus with the home button. I have to get used to it. After using the paying method with <laughs> double tapping the lock button. I need to double press the home button to pay. <laughs> All right. So that is as brand new as it will never be again. There will be fingerprints on it. Yes, you can see it has the dual camera lens. Yes, I had three cameras. The wide, the ultra wide that is not present here, but it has the portrait mode photo and it has the zoom lens. That is actually very good. I like the zoom lens too. Yes, I was able to use this ultra wide lens. You can get used to it very quickly. So this iPhone 8 Plus does not have the ultra wide lens. But at this price, it should be very good and it's actually brand new and that's what matters. So that's about it. That was the unboxing. Maybe I will put the iOS 14 beta 4 version on it so you can see how iPhone 8 Plus performs with it. But right now, that's all. 
Thank you very much for sticking with me. And let's meet on the next episode of Tech You Through. And if you liked this video, subscribe to this channel and my Instagram profile at Tech You Through as well.